there. Papa was a copper and the mama was a hippie. In Alabama, she was swing a hammer. Price you gotta pay when you pick the panorama. She never knew that there was anything more than Paul. What in the world does your company take me for? Black bandana, sweet Louisiana. Robbing on a bank in the state of Indiana. She's a runner, rebel and a stunner. Found them everywhere saying, baby, what you gonna? Looking down the barrel of a hot man forty-five, just another way to survive. How's it going guys? Welcome back. I still don't have a zoom camera but I'm going to try and get some footage with my drone and my GoPro that I got. So we've left uh, the forest we were in. We've come down the road maybe half an hour to do a couple of farm jobs. This is only probably four or five days work right next to the main road. So I thought I'm it might take one or two or three parts, but I'm going to record this whole job, just everything we do. Um, tomorrow we've got the people coming to block the road. So today I'm just going to go up and fall everything that's two tree lengths away from the road up the top. I'll go fall all that. I'm hoping i uh, got a new laptop. Bought a new laptop that I'm picking up today. So I'll finally be able to get some editing done. You guys been wondering what the hell I'm up to. No, it should be good now. So the first thing that we're looking for with a job like this is health and safety. Health and safety is the biggest thing. So telling the public that we're here, making it very, very obvious that there is an operation going on. Down around these corners, we've got our trucks crossing. But when our trucks actually leave this driveway onto this main road there's a sign down around this corner sign down around that corner telling the public that there's going to be trucks crossing uh, next thing is so they know what operation we're running tree falling logging operations that's our dangers fire extinguisher signs so the first hazard i seen when we first came to this block was that there's trees within two tree lengths of the road so um, we rang up an approved stop and go um, road safety that we've used before that I'll get some footage of um, him and his company tomorrow when they turn up public keeping the public safe that's the first thing we're going to do signs blocking the road off when we do that um, environmentally we're not going to do much to the ground. We're just going to process the wood up in this far corner. It's pretty flat in there. We've got a little stream here. This doesn't have any running water in it at the moment because it's the end of summer. But obviously no slash is going to get chucked in there. You know, we'll have a, a place where we can refuel our saws and fill our machines up so environmentally nothing goes in there and we try our best not to spill anything we we'll never try and do that and our slash we're just going to put in one spot just up by this tree here it's ready and we're going to go through our health and safety our paperwork our tailgate what our plan for today is um, all the hazards we've got to be aware of like all the hazards in the actual bush Book, tailgate, all good coach, all good. Last time I was a wetter, this time it's a froggy frog, yep. 
Quite, been, a, quite a friendly little bugger, isn't he? It would have been a squash, squash one. A squashed frog. <laughs> we'll put them back in the stream. That's actually got no water in it. <laughs> but there you go. No, I don't want to go near. gun barrel. I bet you the GoPro don't give it justice so I'd rather have my uh, zoom camera a bit. Wow wee that is a big prune. Now chuck my saw on the stump people will know. <laughs> Fuck. That is impressive. Don't even know how the digger's gonna shovel this, to be honest. I might have to cut some of these in half. That's gotta be 1.2. Boy, 1.2. I'll measure it on the skid tomorrow or the next day. <laughs>
three quarters of a combi and I feel like I haven't even moved yet. <laughs> it's not going to look like a lot of wood down, but this is big wood, eh? Real big wood. I'll go over coffee with coach. Come back up. Shit. Tastes like it's got a bit of sweetener in it. I did do something for the watches. We're, we're devastated. We don't have the caravan at the moment. So. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Just so I don't have to wear my hat, I'm going to designate this the safe zone. <laughs> so I need to air my hair. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So we've got a bit of marmite, cheese and pickle with a little bit of crunch. Big wood, big wood. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. His wet is in there. Yeah, the stumps are pretty. She's a lover, baby, and a fighter. Should have seen a coma when I got a little brighter. With the name like day in the California day was gonna come when I was gonna moan you.